There are so many incredible mix tutorials here on YouTube. I have a bunch on my channel, but there's one thing that just about all of them seem to leave out. Hey everyone, I'm Cole Caparoon. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Now, sometime about like 12 years ago, I was obsessed with a whole bunch of these records coming out. There was like this assembly line uh, of people working on these records where it was Howard Benson producing, Chris Lord Algae master or mixing, and Ted Jensen mastering. And it just seemed like it was the dream team to me because every single thing they touched together I thought was absolutely incredible. The best that all the music industry had to offer at the time. Now at this point I was almost a decade into making records myself, tracking, mixing, and I was sending stuff out to master but also mastering myself. And I was just struggling. I was constantly like, how? How do they make these records sound that good, that perfect? Well, I saw that Chris Lord Algae was doing a presentation at Sweetwater. Uh, this was my first trip to Sweetwater like 12 years ago. Now at the time, it was about a six hour drive from where I lived and I'm like, yep, anything that I could possibly do to get in the room with one of these three dudes and try to absorb anything that they had to say. So me and my buddy Brian, we drive to Sweetwater and we sit through Chris's presentation. Ended up chatting with him afterwards for a while and like it was the first time that I had met him. But there was one thing that was shocking to me about his presentation. And ironically enough, it was not his mix or his mixing techniques or anything else that he actually talked about. He brought with him the raw, unmixed tracks to American Idiot by Green Day. Now, Sweetwater has a really awesome theater that was just built back then with an incredible sound system in it. And he was doing the presentation in the theater and he was playing back these raw tracks. And the thing that like shook me was that the raw tracks sounded better than any mix that I had done to date. <laughs> and that moment was a pivotal moment in my career, in the trajectory of my career, and how I, how I handled and conducted myself moving forward. Because in my mind, it kind of answered one of the biggest questions. How do Chris Lord Algie's mixes sound so unbelievable? Well, not to take anything away from him as a mix engineer, but it really was because the raw tracks that he was working with was so much better than anything I had ever worked on in my career. And from that moment on, I began the pursuit of how finished could I make something sound in the recording process? Can I actually get it to sound where faders up, it's done, and I have to do absolutely nothing to it? That was a crazy pursuit that I had, and going forward for, I don't know, the next five years or so, I would have every drummer come in the night before or the day before the drum tracking session, and I would give them studio time so I could spend however much time I thought was necessary trying to get those drums to sound perfect, finished, with the record button, not with EQ and compression after the fact. On the way into Pro Tools, can I get this to sound perfect and done. Now obviously the same thing happened for you know all the other instruments, vocals and bass and keys and all the other things. I was trying to get finished sounding tracks, tracks that needed no more polishing. But drums was really the hardest one. Fast forward to today, I have made many mix tutorials here on this channel and there are literally millions of views on those mix tutorials, but something keeps popping up. People keep telling me that the tracks that I'm working on sound too good. They sound too finished, like I'm mixing something that has already been mixed. Lots and lots of people are dropping comments going as far as to say, could you please mix something that sounds crappier so we could actually learn how to polish a turd? And like, I, I sympathize with this so much because it was, it was such me like 12 years ago. But the problem is, is the emphasis. The emphasis shouldn't be on, can you show us how to mix crappier stuff? The emphasis should be on, how do I make my stuff sound finished while in the tracking process? It's one of the greatest things that we have here in Nashville is unbelievable tracking engineers that just stuff just sounds finished. I get stuff to mix from other producers around town and I'm not gonna lie, there's times where I'm like faders up and I'm like, 
how do I not screw this up? How, what can I possibly add to this that's gonna make it better because it sounds so incredible, just faders up at Unity. And this is the thing that myself included, we never talk about in mix tutorials. That the real secret sauce of an incredible mix is actually with incredible sounding tracks. Because you can only polish something so much, but if you're starting off with incredible source material, the potential for your mix is so much infinitely greater. This is just a reminder of that, that if you really want incredible mixes, you have to start with incredible tracks. And if you're not tracking it yourself, do everything in your power to help the producer, to help the tracking engineer get better sounding tracks. And if you are producing the stuff yourself, take the time, spend your own time experimenting, try to figure out how to get stuff to sound as best as you possibly can. Make sure the room that it's in sounds incredible. Make sure the thing you're recording sounds incredible. The guitar tones, the, the drum tones, the drummer, like, like all of this stuff starts with the source. And yes, the microphones and the preamps and the compressors, those are obviously important, but if the thing you're recording doesn't sound good, it doesn't matter what you record it with, it's never gonna sound great. There's links down below for everything that I use and all the compressors and preamps and all the microphones and everything that I use. Go check those out if you wanna see what I'm using on everything. Those links go to Sweetwater. Thank you Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Anytime you need any piece of musical gear, you can hop on any one of my videos and click any one of the links and purchase anything that you need and it really helps this channel out. So I, I appreciate you guys doing that very much. But I just wanted to make a quick one here and remind you guys that that the source tracks, the material, how meticulously was something recorded? How great were the tones that we're capturing? That's actually the secret to incredible mixes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it helped you. Check out some of the other mix tutorials now that you know you can you can watch those mix tutorials through this lens. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.